Thanks, Bill. It's a, it's a great day to be here, and it wouldn't have been possible without the cooperation of everybody that's behind us and all of you folks that are supporting it. So I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank the university for providing the site. I guess this is a classic Greenfield site that we have here. That'll be great. I'd like to thank the city and the mayor for uh, coming together with myself and uh, the bombers to make this happen. Uh, it's going to be a very good asset for the city as well as the university. I'd like to thank the Bombers for uh, their role and uh, getting involved and raising some money and uh, helping bring everybody together to make it happen. And I'd like to thank David Asper for his vision and drive to move this project forward. And when everybody comes together, good things happen in this province. And I think that's what's happened here today. So let's give them a round of applause. The realities are, if we work together and all pull in the same direction, there is absolutely nothing that we can't achieve. And just for a small clarification, Commissioner Mark Cohan has basically said he will work to get a Grey Cup game here. It's up to the players and the coaches to get the ring, and we expect that of you and nothing less. And ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate. Wonderful things are happening in our city and our province, and all of you are part of making it happen. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. What a glorious day. Now, I don't know why people said you needed a dome stadium here. This is really, <laughs> yeah, absolutely not true. Not true. Um, you know, my message to you is very simple, and it's thank you. You know, thank you to the Premier and to all the people of Manitoba for supporting this. You know, thank you to the Mayor, and thank you for clarifying the issue about the Grey Cup, because I didn't want my integrity, you know, to be in question. And to all the people of, of Winnipeg, you know, thank you to the President of the University and all the students and faculty here who look at this as a great opportunity for the university and a great recruitment tool, you know, so that you could get the Vanier Cup in two, you know, last time was 2007, you know, maybe when it opens in 2012. Thank you all for being here and uh, another announcement about uh, progress in this project. I want to thank in particular uh, elected representatives for the city and for the province and uh, to the federal government, in particular our own uh, member of parliament, Rod Bernoulli, who's been such a strong supporter of the university. The 20th century poet Winston Hugh Auden said, those who will not reason perish in the act. Those who will not act perish for that reason. This project has been a long period of reasoning and we're here today to celebrate the gradual transition from reasoning to acting. Thanks for coming. Uh, building communities is really what we're doing here. It's happening and it's going to happen with Assiniboine Park and a new airport and Centerport is developing and this is a community on the move and we should be very proud of it. Um, the idea of building and getting things done isn't new and so I want to be very brief and just simply refer to something that Leonardo da Vinci once said in the Middle Ages where he said, I've been impressed with the urgency of doing knowing is not enough we must apply being willing is not enough we must do so let's dig Thank you.